Okay, let's talk about toothbrushing methods. So this is something where your dental professional should be showing you how to brush your teeth properly because believe it or not, it's different depending on your mouth. For example, if you have sensitive teeth, you're going to be brushing a little bit different than somebody who's a heavy smoker and gets a lot of stain, a lot of plaque, a lot of tartar. But all in all, um, since I can't see you guys in person, what you need to keep in mind is the correct toothbrushing technique is very simple. I want to even say you don't even have to angle the toothbrush a certain way. Um, to keep it even more simple, what I want you guys to think about is to always use a soft toothbrush, not a medium, not a hard toothbrush, but always a soft tooth, um, toothbrush, the softest toothbrush you can find. Because if you have a tendency to brush too hard, what can happen is you, you can actually damage your um, gum tissue, but your enamel as well over time. Of course, if you're brushing too hard for one day, that's not going to make much of a difference. But if you've been brushing too hard for 30 years, twice a day, it's going to make a difference. Maybe even less than that for, you know, five years, twice a day, it's going to make a difference. But if you're using a soft toothbrush, even with brushing too hard, it's going to take longer to cause any damage. But that brings me to my next point. Do not brush too hard. There is a fine line though. So this is where it's always better to have this um, talked about and have your dental professional show you how to do this because you want to brush hard enough that you're taking away stain, you're taking away plaque. But if you brush too hard, as I said before, you can cause some damage. So to keep it simple, again, use a soft toothbrush, don't brush too hard, but also what I want you guys to do and it sounds silly, but make sure to brush every surface of every tooth and try to brush um, the gum tissue a little bit. So see in this first picture here, how they're um, angling the toothbrush at a 45 um, degree angle. Yes, okay, that's a good thing to do. But do I do that? No. What I do is I just basically make sure, so look at this um, picture number two, okay? So make sure to get your teeth, but then angle it even higher up to get the gum tissue a little bit. Depending on the size of your teeth, if you've ever noticed, some people have very small teeth, some people have larger teeth, some people use a very small toothbrush and some people use a larger toothbrush. Always make sure you are able to get on the tooth and at the um, gingival margin, but then you might be missing the bottom part of the tooth. So then you also have to go into that area as well. So this is why it takes two minutes. This is why we tell people to brush for two minutes because if you're brushing for 10 seconds, you're not going to get every surface of every tooth. So, do, so does that make sense? On average though, I would say people tend to brush about 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. I've never really timed myself, but what I like to do is I like to take my toothbrush with toothpaste and kind of walk around and do other things. So I'm not just sitting there trying to count to, you know, two minutes, that doesn't always work, right? So I just try to move around and do other things and then before I know it, I'm actually probably using my toothbrush for maybe three minutes, but that's the better way to do things. So make sure to get every tooth, every surface. Notice how in picture number three, they're on the inside. Make sure to brush the inside of your teeth as well and look at the picture number four. So you do have to get behind your teeth on the top at the front on the top and of course also on the bottom. But notice how you have to angle your toothbrush in a different way. I would say picture number four, this is what I teach my patients the most because this is where I see plaque and tartar happening. So I teach my patients this probably every single appointment. It doesn't matter if you're you know, six years old, it doesn't matter if you're 25, it doesn't matter if you're 65. Number four is what I have to teach my patients the most because it's trickier to angle the toothbrush that way. If you're trying to get inside the teeth at the top 
um, at the front on the top or the bottom and you try to angle the toothbrush like this in number two, that's not going to work. You have to angle the toothbrush like this on the inside. And then same thing here. You need to do the same thing on the inside for the top and the bottom. Okay. And of course, make sure to brush your um, chewing surfaces of the top and the bottom. Try to brush them well. Okay. This will help a lot. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, again, you guys, the rule of thumb is to use a very soft toothbrush. Make sure to brush in the morning and at night. And also, um, you know, don't brush too hard. I would say those are the key points to really remember if you're having to, if you think you have to brush at a 45 a degree angle, I would say you don't have to. Just make sure to do a proper job get all the teeth, all the surfaces twice a day, morning and night, all the time. Now it's a bit different if you're using an electric toothbrush. So I'm probably going to do a video on electric toothbrushing. So I will link that on the bottom, just in case you use an electric toothbrush. If you're, if you're like me, I like to use the manual toothbrush and the electric as well. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next one.